exactly what Canada's Got Talent is all about. Um, so what are we in store for in season two? How are you can kick it off? I think you're in store for the unexpected. You know, listen, I enjoyed and was thrilled to be part of uh, season one. But I think that season one set a bar and uh, it inspires people to even do better. It's kind of like uh, the Olympics, you know, when you when if you go back to the Olympics from 50 years ago, the records that were being set pale in comparison to what it is now. People are faster. People are stronger. People are bigger. They're lifting more weight. By the same token, somebody watches a, uh, a, a talent show and they go, well, that's good, but I could do that and light myself on fire. And you feel that they were inspired by the first season. I, in mind right now, have maybe five acts that if they were there last year, they would have definitely been in the finale and probably would have won. So I think it's better, bigger, scarier, more original, and wilder. Do you agree? Absolutely. And I got to tell you, there's a moment where when Howie Mandel, who's a veteran of how many years? There are many seasons. 13? Oh, I've done 17. Uh, 75. No. no uh, 17. 17? Well, if you include this one. I mean, it's a lot, right? So he, now my other word, my, my point is he's seen a lot of talent, a lot of acts. And there's a couple points this season where he looked over to us and said, this might be the best I've seen in any of the shows I've done. So as a Canadian, how proud are we to know that that could be, that's our platform. Were that's you there for my golden buzzer? Were you there for my golden buzzer? I wasn't. Okay, I, I my wasn't golden there. buzzer this year, I'm not giving anything away, is a... Is a well, my, my golden buzzer is... The, go ahead. You're your, your golden buzzer is, a, is amazing. amazing. Is amazing. amazing. And, and to... But my golden buzzer... It, it, it's Something you've to, never seen. I didn't know what I was looking at. I didn't know what I was hearing. Yeah. I didn't... My jaw just dropped. And, you know, like she said, I should be jaded. I've seen a lot. I have never seen anything like this. I cannot wait. And I'm so excited that that moment for me happened in Canada on the stage at Canada's Got Talent season two. What is it about the golden buzzer in your gut when you know you got to press the button? Because you can only press it once. It's ner I'll tell you, as a newbie coming on, it was nerve wracking. I thought, oh my God, how will you know? What if all these acts go by and then you're just, you're not sure. So that gets dwindling to the end and you haven't picked it and you have pressure. And how he, it was great. He took me aside and he said, look, you're just going to feel it. And truly, it really is this moment where you absolutely feel it. It's a full body experience. You feel it and you know that someone at home for sure is connecting with the, the same feeling and resonating with what you're seeing on the stage. And uh, it really is a feel thing. And it's I agree so with her. And the word that you used, it's in your gut. You know, imagine that you're an audience member sitting at home and you see something on TV and you just go, wow wow, you know, mom, get in here, dad, yeah. get in here. This is amazing. Or wow. Or, you know, you press, re the, the or share, you, you, you right? share, or yeah. you record. So that's our share record calling mom, calling dad in that moment. We're not in our living room. We're at the desk and that gut feeling is boom. And we get to uh, see our feeling come to life yeah. with golden confetti. It's amazing and messy. And then she can make a and then dress I make up. an outfit out of it. I gather it up and we put a little bit of glue and boom, outfit. Recycle, reuse. That's what we're all about as well. No carbon footprint here. None. Zero. Is there a key to winning? I mean, how are you you you've judged on so many different iterations and seasons? Is there a key? Is there is there a route somebody could take that could get them to the fin uh, finale and, and maybe even win? I do believe that there is a way to win. And 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 uh, listen. It's anybody's game and anybody could win. But and I think this is a good uh, uh, source of information, even for life. I believe that you just have to go for it. And I believe that you and when I say you, I mean, the person or the group on stage has to believe in it and give it their all. And I find that sometimes, whether it's nerves, whether it's overthinking, whether it's doing something because you think that's what they're going to like or that's what they're going to vote for, that will never work. But if you totally commit to something and you know that it's great, we as an audience will believe that it's great. So the only way, and I think that's for anything you do in life, is to commit, to believe in yourself. And until you believe in yourself, nobody else is going to believe in you. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, oh!